This is going to be a quick overview of snapping in Modo, just to discuss some of the common problems and pitfalls that people encounter when trying to snap geometry in Modo. So I've got a vertex selected, and I've got no action center defined, which is a default state, and this means we're using a variation of the automatic action center. Um, so I'm going to hit F11 to bring up the snapping popover, and turn snapping on, geometry snap. And now I'm going to invoke the move tool. Now if I just click here, and uh, drag this vertex onto another one. You can see it's doing something very strange. It, it's snapping, but it's not snapping where I want it to. You can see when I rotate. Um, and the reason for this is because of the default action center. So um, the way it works is it will, um, let me just turn snapping off. It's going to place your transform handles at the intersection of the point on the screen you click on and the work plane. So let's say I'm trying to click on this vertex here and I'm not entirely accurate. Well, it looks as if it's placed the uh, tool handles there, but if I rotate the view you can see the tool handles are not placed on the geometry, they've been placed on the work plane itself, and this is at the root of most of the problems that people have when trying to snap in Modo. So if I select a different vertex and activate the transform tool and hit X to turn snapping back on, as long as the transform handle is centered on that vertex, I'm going to be able to snap predictably. You can see there was no problem this time, but if you want a really foolproof way of uh, doing this, you should change your action center to selection center auto axis. Now if I select a vertex and uh, activate the transform tool, it's, uh, it's always going to behave predictably because it's not going to try and intersect the um, the transform handles with the work plane. So this is really a good way of working because you, you're not going to run into the uh, unpredictability of the default action center. There is an alternative to using the transform tool with the uh, selection center auto axis and that is to use the drag snap preset. So um, if you go to your basic modeling toolbar there's a snaps and precisions popover here which uh, brings up a bunch of presets. You can also activate it by holding down shift tilde and uh, this brings up a pie menu and if you select snaps this will bring up a persistent snapping preset palette which you can toggle on and off by using the apostrophe key on your keyboard so um, if I activate drag snap and uh, you can see by looking at the tool pipe it's uh, set up all your settings for you and uh, this doesn't use a transform tool it uses the element move tool so that means that you can select polygons edges or vertices and uh, if I drag snap you can see that it behaves predictably. It's also got select through active, so you don't need to drop the tool. You can just keep snapping, and uh, it works perfectly. So this is probably the easiest way of uh, snapping points to each other in, in Modo. Finally, if you look under the drag snap preset, there's this, uh, this other preset called drag snap rigid. And this works in a similar manner, except that instead of just moving the points that you select, it's going to move all connected geometry. So uh, let me demonstrate how this works. If I activate it and I select this point here, and I drag that onto the point at the top of this other cube, you can see it's snapped. Uh, the two points together and it's also brought everything that was connected to the point, i.e. the whole cube, along with it. There is one thing to be aware of with uh, drag snap rigid and uh, that's that it uses the transform handles to do the snapping. So um, if I just offset this cube slightly from the other one and drop the transform tool and activate drag snap rigid and I click on this um, face. Now pay attention to where the tool handles are. You can see they're not centered in the face. Now if I try and drag this face onto another face, I'm not going to get them to snap together in the way that I want because what it's doing is it's snapping the position of the tool handle to the uh, corner of the face. Now this is not what you want in most cases and uh, the easiest way around this is to not use faces or edges for snapping but to use vertices so if I invoke drag snap rigid and uh, grab this vertex snap it to that vertex you can see that this works really easily and simply so um, this isn't a comprehensive overview of snapping in Modo because that would be a very long video indeed um, it's just really a question of the basics and trying to explain the simplest workflows and just to avoid the most common problems that people have when trying to snap geometry in Modo. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you very much for watching.